and the Lord shall utter his voice before his army, for his camp is very great, for he is strong that executeth his word, for the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and rend your heart, and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil. There will be wars and rumors of wars. Do not be afraid. The scriptures went on to say that all this will happen, but the end is not yet. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Israelites, the Most High prophesied about the times we are living in. When trouble arise, do not be alarmed, but be vigilant. The scripture said, nations shall rise against other nations. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in divers places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. To the people of the Most High who are aware of what is happening and understand the times we are living in, do not let the conflict between the other species of mankind distress you. What you need to do is protect yourself and your people. The affairs of this world is none of our business. The more the people of the Most High repent and seek the face of the Most High, the sooner the judgment of the Most High will come upon the nations. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. For the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near, a cloudy day. It shall be the time of the heathen. Israelites, I want you to know what happens when you begin to pray and ask the Most High to deliver you. The nations will begin to be judged. Yah will stir the hearts of the current leaders like he did with Pharaoh. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. Before the Most High delivered his people out of Mizraim, he sent multiple warnings via Moses and Aaron. After he sent the warnings, the Most High sent many plagues that destroyed the land of Mizraim. The city where the Israelites dwell was not affected by the plagues. Once Pharaoh had enough, he decided to let the people of the Most High go. And Pharaoh rose up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was a great cry in Egypt, but there was not a house where there was not one dead. And he called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up and get you forth from among my people, both ye and the children of Israel, and go, serve the Lord, as ye have said. Also take your flocks and your herds, as ye have said, and be gone, and bless me also. As the people of the Most High began to leave the land of Mizraim, they had to exercise great faith to successfully leave the land of Mizraim. Pharaoh had a change of heart and sent his army against the Israelites. The people of the Most High were cornered. They had Pharaoh's army descending upon them on one side and a body of water on the other side. The Most High put his people in a position where they could only rely on divine intervention to be delivered. The Most High did this to test the heart of his people, as well as to show the world there is no other God like the Elohim of Israel. The scriptures reveal the Most High parted the sea to allow his people to escape Pharaoh's army. When the Israelites made it across the seabed, the waters returned, killing Pharaoh's army. And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. In the mix of trouble, the Most High will rescue his people, those whose heart is perfect towards him. The scripture said the Most High appoint leaders and Yah dethroned the leaders as well. 
The other species of mankind swear they are in control. The Most High is in control and he will always have the final say. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Israelites, it is important for you to understand what happens next after a successful prayer. Some Israelites believe peace will come after you pray. There will be no peace. Conflict shall arise. What happens after the people of the Most High come together on one accord to pray, fast, and repent successfully? The Most High began the process of delivering his people. The reason the Most High is delivering his people, there are captives in the land of their captivity. To rescue his people, he must fight the opposing army that refused to let his people go. Those of you who are expecting peace after a successful prayer must wake up from the false doctrines coming out of the pulpits of Satan's ministers. The Most High said vengeance is his, he will repay. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. What happens after the Most High accept your prayer and fasting? The Most High would stir the hearts of the heathen nations, like he did with Vladimir Putin, to cause them to destroy themselves. The Most High has a history of stirring the heart of his people to do his will. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin, and the priests and the Levites, with all them whose spirit God had raised, to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem. When the Most High stirred the hearts of the leaders, it began the process of the Most High doing several things, saving his people, ushering a new era, and fulfilling the scriptures. Israelites and indigenous black people, it is important that you do not allow the beast culture to deceive you into praying for your enemies. So many are praying for the heathens in the land of the north, affected by the decision of a current leader, the Most High is stirring his heart to do his will. The heathens are not praying for you. Remember, the scripture said, by their behavior, you would know them. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. There are countless videos circulating on social media of the heathens discriminating against indigenous black people fleeing the region affected by the so-called war. They have time to hate you while they are trying to save their lives and their people. Israelites, do not be deceived. When you pray and ask the Most High to help you, the judgment of the Most High will come upon your enemies. Let the will of the Most High be done. When you begin to pray to ask the Most High to save the lives of the heathens affected in that region, you are stopping the Most High from judging your enemies. Direct your prayers to your people that dwell in that region. Ask the Most High to save your people that dwell in the region affected by the so-called war. The seed of the serpent has no problem leaving your people behind in the mix of crisis. And here are the indigenous black people praying for the wicked people who will not change. The perpetual hatred is not going anywhere, Israelites. It is written. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. The time has come for the people of the Most High to stop being a co-conspirator in their own demise. The beast system has convinced many of you that we are one people with the other species of mankind. In the meantime, the people who are the most affected by the crisis are the indigenous black people and they are praying for their enemies. The scriptures reveal to us how Job had to pray for his friends to stop the wrath of the Most High against them. And it was so that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, the Lord said to Eliphaz the Temanite, My wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends. But ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right, as my servant Job hath. Therefore take unto you now seven bullocks and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you, for him will I accept lest I deal with you after your folly, in that ye have not spoken of me the thing which is right, like my servant Job. When the workers of iniquity convince you to pray for your enemies, you are stopping the wrath of the Most High against your enemies. Israelites, stop letting the kingdom of darkness deceive you. 
When Jehoshaphat was the leader of our people, a large army descended upon the Israelites for battle. Jehoshaphat was afraid. Jehoshaphat did not let the spirit of fear disable him. Instead, he gathered his people and began to fast and pray. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon, and with them other beside the Ammonites, came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this side Syria, and behold, they be in Hazazon Tamar, which is Engedi. And Jehoshaphat feared, and set himself to seek the Lord, and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the Lord, even out of all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. Once the people of the Most High gathered on one accord to fast and pray, the Most High received their prayer. The Most High responded through his anointed prophets, reassuring his people. The first thing the Most High said was, do not be afraid. Israelites, do not let the spirit of fear disable you. The Most High intervened on the behalf of his people. The Most High caused the enemies of his people to fight themselves, to destroy themselves. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. But the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Seir, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, every one helped to destroy another. And when Judah came toward the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, they were dead bodies fallen to the earth, and none escaped. Israelites, when you see your enemies rise against themselves to destroy themselves, mind your own business. Do not pick a side like so many have done in the beast system. You don't know what the synagogue of Satan is planning behind the scenes. Don't become partakers with them. Direct your attention to your people that dwell in the region, the conflict arise. Ask the Most High to protect your people. While the other species of mankind destroy themselves, prepare your house. Have an emergency plan for your family. Seek the face of the Most High for guidance. The word of the Most High said it would be a hard time during Jacob's trouble. Yah said he will save his people. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Israelites and indigenous black people, when you begin to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth, you will be able to see the Most High. The reason so many Israelites believe the Most High was silent, religion blocked you from hearing the voice of the Most High. Remember, religion is idolatry and sorcery. Sin separates the Most High from his people. Now that you are out of religion, out of the house of bondage, you will begin to see the sovereignty of the Most High. The word of the Most High is alive. For us in the awakening, we can see the hands of the Most High. Israelites, I ask that you do not let the workers of iniquity in the beast system deceive you into saving the lives of the wicked by praying for them. Let the judgment of the Most High be done towards the enemies of the Most High and his people. Not all will be saved. Everyone must comprehend that only a few was chosen. It's only a remnant that will be saved. Isaiah also crieth concerning Israel. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. The other species of mankind know who you are. They know your history. They know everything about you. They know what bloodline you come from and they know who the chosen people are. It's Israelites and indigenous black people who are now figuring out their names, legacy, heritage, bloodline, and culture. Despite of knowing everything about you, they still chose to gather against you to cut you off from being a people. The time has come for the Israelites and indigenous black people to see the wicked for who they are. Stop letting emotions blind your eyes. The other species of mankind will always come against you. I am here to put an end to the emotional attachment so many Israelites and indigenous black people have towards their enemies. Crying out to the Most High result in judgment towards the nations. The army that is fighting for you is not an army of flesh, but one of the spirit. Who can stand against the army of the Most High? With him is an arm of flesh, but with us is the Lord our God to help us.
and to fight our battles. And the people rested themselves upon the words of Hezekiah, king of Judah. To get access to the army of the Most High, you must cry out and move out of the Most High's way. It was when the Most High heard the cries of our ancestors in bondage in the land of Mizraim, Yah started to move on the behalf of his people. And I've also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage, and I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. Did you hear that? With great judgment will the Most High save his people. Once our cries reach the ears of the Most High, the nations will be judged. Your enemies will not suddenly like you. The enmity between the two species of mankind will not allow it. That is why in the mix of war, they still mistreat you. China did the same to the indigenous black people during the pandemic. Israelites and indigenous black people, when the heathens rise against themselves to destroy themselves, let the great judgment of the Most High take place. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. The heathens have an army of flesh to fight their battles. They have other heathen nations that will accept their kind and exclude you. For many generations, they taught you in the B system that we are all one. In the mix of war, they can differentiate you from them. Right now, Israelites and indigenous black people are witnessing with their own eyes how wicked these people are. They speak nothing but lies. The other species of mankind tell you what you want to hear while their behavior reveal what is in their heart. Was the scripture wrong about by their fruits you would know them? Israelites, stop making excuses for the other species of mankind. They are like their father, the devil. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Israelites and indigenous black people, do not rely on the heathen's army and nations to save you. The synagogue of Satan have shown you multiple times when it gets tough, they will sacrifice you. The indigenous black people will be the group left behind, just as we are witnessing today in Ukraine, as well as in China during the pandemic. The synagogue of Satan have shown the indigenous black people repeatedly that they will save their own and only care about their own. Why are you praying for these people? The other species of mankind only care when they are the ones dying. When you are the victim, they say to you, you should have complied. When the judgment of the Most High come on the other species of mankind, say to them, they should have complied. Israelites, when you see the nations rise against themselves, that is the captain of your army fighting on the behalf of his people. We have the Most High's army to fight our battles. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man, and he saw, and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. The Most High's ways is not like the other species of mankind. We must operate in the spirit to activate the army of the Most High. Israelites, you must continue to cry out. The indigenous black people and Israelites must let go of paganism and connect to the real Elohim of Israel. Once you pray to be delivered, the Most High will respond accordingly. Elijah prayed and asked the Most High to strike his enemies with blindness, and it was so. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Like Elijah, we are connected to the same power that strike his enemies with blindness. We have an incredible power ready and able to help the people of the Most High. The Israelites and indigenous black people need to tap into that power. Let go of the ways of the heathens. The other species of mankind is not going to help the indigenous black people. 
Like our ancestors who had Pharaoh's army on one side and a body of water on the other side had their backs against the wall, they had no choice but to cry out to the Most High for help. Israelites, cry out and ask the Most High to save your people. For once in your lives, worry about yourself and your people. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despiseth you, despiseth me. And he that despiseth me, despiseth him that sent me. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. <laughs>